Hello, hello, hi, I'm Tracy from Fanservice B, and you're here in my skincare and makeup layer to see the new book that arrived at my office today, Korean Beauty Secrets. It's by my friends Coco and Carrie, and you'll probably know them best as the beauty bloggers, uh, the Beauty Wolf and Skin and Tonics. So they actually worked with Skyhorse Press to create this book. Um, and they did everything from writing to the actual design of the pages and things, and it just came out absolutely amazing. I usually don't make videos. Um, it's usually only when I'm mad at Mimi Box or something, but uh, this is a special case because I want to show you kind of in the most immediate way just how fantastic this came out. Um, I, I think it's a totally amazing book, and I'm so excited to finally have it. Um, I ordered it, I pre-ordered it in the summer, and um, it's not really supposed to come out for a few weeks, but Amazon happened to get it early, and um, I want to share it with you so that you can hopefully put it on your holiday wish list, or just grab it earlier, because it's really, really fantastic. Um, so one of the things that I noticed first, of course, is that the production of it is really great. So it has raised ink here on the cover. It has a sewn binding, meaning that it will lay flat and it'll last a long time without cracking up. And then the pages are actually, um, the weight of the paper and the feel of the paper is actually really nice. So this is something that you can actually keep for a long, long time. Um, clearly the uh, publisher and carry on Coco think that Korean beauty is here to stay because they want you to have this for many decades. Um, and it's going to look great on your coffee table. It's definitely not a cheap or slap together book. Um, this is a really beautiful thing to have in your collection. Um, so here we go. This page, of course, you need autographs. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to getting Carrie and Coco to sign my book. Um, and I'm going to save this just for them, maybe put some glitter on it or something. Um, and um, I read the dedications and they're really, really sweet. Oh my God. <laughs> so cute. Um, this is the table of contents. So I think what I'm going to do is actually just kind of, by the way, um, I'm filming this with the help of my Makeup mirror, yes. Um, this is the saddest uh, YouTube video ever in terms of production values, especially in contrast to this lovely book. Um, so yeah, well, welcome. Welcome to my studio. Um, so I'm just gonna flip through this and kind of show you some things that stuck out to me. Um, by the way, the product images are so enticing. I think that I'm gonna actually probably end up buying everything that they mentioned in here because it'll just look great um oh and this so these models are actually not just like random people this is actually coco's husband um rich and so they're actually um oh and this is um rich's sister i think so yeah the models are actually people that um carrie and coco know so it just made it that much more personal it's a really cool kind of group project it's awesome um so it starts off by talking about the Korean beauty brand families. Um, and so you have the kind of listing of the cable. So the kind of massive conglomerates, Amore Pacific and LG. Um, and then there are explanations of things like road shops. So a lot of people wonder like, what's a road shop? Um, and they actually explain it. There's a list of Korean beauty brands lots and lots to explore and then they move into skincare um so here we go i think i've tried this mask it's a meta heal mask i'm guessing um so this gets into the philosophy of skincare actually um so they're talking about how korean beauty emphasizes skincare rather than makeup um so women and men actually um, are kind of aiming for great skin that they don't need to really cover and that involves um, a lot of layering, sun protection, um, products that contribute to brightness. Here is, I think this is a Mimi mask. <laughs> I recognize this. Um, and they talk about how to assess your skin type. This is completely amazing because um, I think that, you know, even if you're not into Korean beauty quite yet, 
it's a really useful thing for people who want to know just like what skin type do I even have. It's sometimes really difficult to tell, especially if you have something like dry or dehydrated skin. It's kind of like, well, which one do I have? How do I deal with that? Um, it's really, really useful. Um, so I'm pretty, pretty sadly certain that I have oily skin. Sad, sad, sad. <laughs> um, and then they get into skin concerns, so wrinkles and fine lines. Um, they have the very useful recommendation to visit a dermatologist. One of the things that I liked as I was reading this on the train um, was that they didn't talk about um, you know, rushing out to buy 10 or 12 products. They talked about how you can have a kind of theoretical um, base that's Korean and then use products of different kinds from around the world to kind of slot into those steps. And so that's really great if, you know, you're not, you know, kind of independently wealthy or something and able to just go buy an entire new fancy skincare routine. You can just find products that are at your local stores and slot them into um, the Korean kind of theory of skincare and the steps. Um, so they get into common ingredients. Let's see here. Ingredient glossary. Oh, this is really, really fun. I'm going to have a lot of fun actually going through this because um, there are these like great pictures, but then there are different product or ingredient names and what they do. So I'm often kind of confused when I see these long lists. Like I know kind of the basics like um, ceramides or whatever, but then... How about stuff like, oh, EF, ah! oops, <laughs> so something fell. Um, I'm just happy that the cats haven't fought yet. Uh, so this is going to be really useful. It's just pleasing to look at. So different things here, natto gum, awesome. Ooh, and then they talk about experimental things like bee venom, bird's nest. Excellent. Okay, so let's flip ahead. So there's a nice long section on ingredients. Um, then they get into, oh my gosh, this I really need to look at. Okay, so they get into um, sun protection. Oh my goodness. Honestly, I just slap on um, this stuff <laughs> and leave it at that. <laughs> I'm really kind of overwhelmed by sun protection and um, it, it, it this stuff works. So Biore works for me. Um, it doesn't work for everyone and it can actually be pretty drying for some skin types. So this section is going to be amazing. Wow. <laughs> okay, I need to bookmark that because cool. Okay. So then there are um, descriptions of product categories. So point makeup remover. So that's your um, kind of lip eye makeup. Ooh, makeup removing cleansers. By the way, the reason that you're not seeing my face right now is because I rushed home and I cleansed immediately. <laughs> I've gotten into the habit of this. So I started with this cleanser. This is the Innisfree um, Apple Juicy Yummy Jolly Rancher cleanser. And I got addicted. And so now when I come home, I actually just remove my makeup straight away. It actually has really helped my skin and it feels really good. So here are some balm cleansers. I own these two. This is my favorite. Um, cream cleansers. I love that there's so much time spent on cleansing because it's so important for skin. Ooh, foaming cleansers. Oh, pH range. I wonder... Hmm, I wonder what pH is. Um, I think I've tried these two. Um, toners, skin boosters, essences. I really love the photos here. Um, everything, it's amazing. The photos must have been different when they came in, but they're all kind of like similar looking. It's really uniform and, and standardized. I like it. Um, all, all labeled. Here we go. Creams. Mm. A lot of people like this. Eye creams. Spot treatments. I'm going to have fun with this, looking at this. Mm. Yes. 
Ooh, sheet masks. Ooh, going into the different types of sheet masks. Cool. So sea kelp. Sleeping packs. Ooh, wash offs. Massage creams. Facial masks. This is really complete. Awesome. Ooh, how to introduce new products. Patch testing. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Commonly asked questions, layering, so why you want to do layering, ooh, examples, so this walks you through how to do different kinds of layering depending on your skin type, awesome, so this makes it pretty easy to get started. Um, mm -hmm. Ooh, okay, so these are kind of guides to how to deal with your skin type. Ooh. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to have lots of fun with that as well. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to skip through the rest of these. Oh, example routines. Oh yeah, so here we go. I actually contributed a sample routine here. Um, so that's my routine at the time. Oh my god. So I'm really excited to see it. Um, this photo I actually took in my light box. I wanted to kind of show off the, um, the whole operation. <laughs> so it wasn't a completely, um, flawless picture. I wanted to kind of show the, the behind the scenes of it. Um, so this talks about my blog a little bit, my skin con concerns, and then it goes through what I did with my skin at that point. So that was, um, I wrote it in the spring and wow, it's amazing that the book is already out. It feels like other books that I've been involved with, they took a lot longer to come out. So this is really exciting. This actually means that you'll be able to buy these products, hopefully, <laughs> um, because if there was the usual um, forever and a half delay, it would probably not be possible to buy all of these products. But this is totally doable. So yeah, I have many pages because I make jokes involving me making inappropriate jokes all throughout my routine pages. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, here's Brian's routines. I'm going to skip through these. There are lots of people that you want to see. So there's um, the Beauty Wolf. There's Cheryl at The Wanderlust Project, um, Elisa at Memorable Days, who else do we have here? Oh, Rebecca from Hello Pretty Bird, and Jude at Fifty Shades of Snail, and oh, Kat at Snow White and the Asian Pear, my co-spirit animal. Um, so definitely check these out. I think... There are lots of different skin types represented and different philosophies, so it's a really useful resource for seeing how this actually works in practice. Oh, and then of course there's Carrie's. Yeah, so I'm going to have to check this out. So I'm sure it's changed because she's always discovering new products. Oh, like Grey Melon. Um, and so I'm really interested to see what she's using these days. Hmm. Cool. Okay, so... Then we have makeup. Oh my gosh. So this is um, the famous Misha uh, BB cream. I really don't like it personally. <laughs> I don't remember what I don't like about it. I think it reads a little bit gray or too white on me. Um, so this is definitely where um, Coco's expertise as a makeup artist came to bear. And um, she actually personally did the makeup for the models in this. And so she shows us how to, oh, here's Rich again, um, how to get the different Korean makeup looks, actually. So we're talking like dewy skin, puppy eyes um, with eyeliner. Um, gosh, what else? Um, I guess like egg yosol highlighting under your eyes. Um, yeah, awesome. So I'm definitely going to need to review this. Lots and lots. <laughs> cool. Date prep butter. This is a pretty controversial product. Um, cushions, 
primer, and color and point makeup. So E3 Concept Plus. Cool. So I wanted to show you definitely the models here. So they actually show the different looks. So these are um, semi-matte look. Um, and so this is definitely something that you could wear to the office without doing a lot of like translation for uh, like a Western viewer. Um, some of the looks uh, in Korea, I feel like I kind of have to tone down uh, or like change a bit to be able to wear and have people understand like what I'm doing with my makeup. Um, in this case, it seems like there are some looks that are actually like just ready to go and it'll seem like, oh yeah, okay, um, good makeup. <laughs> Um, so this is another makeup look. I mean, honestly, like these seem pretty doable. So this is a watercolor rose. How is it that when I do these makeup looks, they look weird, except they look great on the models. I think Coco needs to come do my makeup because these actually look amazing. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, so this is with like false eyelashes and liner. So this is a very kind of K-pop, um, I think, girls' day look, definitely. Um, at egg yourself. So here we go. This is the highlighting under the eyes. I love this. It's very kind of um, youthful and it helps to conceal dark circles. <laughs> so this shows gradient lip and blush. So you see the kind of dark center blend it out so that you get a more youthful lip. So the final part is additional resources and this has US based online boutiques, mainstream US stores that carry Korean beauty. So recently Sephora of course has been really really pushing Korean beauty. Um, Korean brands with international websites um, so, Club Cleo, hey. Um, let's see here. Oh, yeah, Misha certainly has a U.S. presence. Um, Korean shops with international shipping. I really love Korea Depart, by the way. Um, the shipping is a little bit weird to figure out, but work with it. It's really worth it. Um, Korean marketplaces with shopping services. Oh, yeah. So, 11, 11th Street or 11th Street amazing customer service oh my god um ebay and amazon are really becoming especially amazon is great um this has actually the hunko for various um ingredient components and then ingredient translations so this is really really useful and there are also some online resources for this but if you have something that you're kind of um, unable to put on your skin, for example, I'm allergic to rosemary, you could just kind of keep the hunko with you so that you can check um, the containers and things uh, before putting them anywhere near your face. <laughs> um, cool. So let's see here. All right. So there's a nice long list of ingredients. Acknowledgements. Hey. Oh, wait. Hey, that's me. <laughs> um credits, photo credits, oh, blogger photo credits, hello, models, excellent lip models, and we are done. Awesome. So, many, many congratulations to Carrie and Coco. This is an absolutely amazing book. I think it looks great here on my skincare and makeup workstation. Um, totally something to keep for a very long time. I'm just so proud to have been able to be a part of it and I'm really, really excited that this is going to exist for new skincare fans and existing ones for a long, long time to come. So yay, thank you, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy the book, I hope you love it and um, that it's everything that you hope for and yay, yay, woo! -hoo.